Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video where I will talk about one of the starter applications called IT System Registry. This is an incredibly simple application that is self-contained. It is ready to go pretty much as soon as you import it. If you need some help importing applications, please watch the introduction video where I will walk you through and the import process. But once you have it imported, it is pretty much ready right out of the box. So the application only has one process, which is divided into two workflows. Both of these workflows are almost insultingly simple. So the first one of this, these is called system registration, where you can register the IT systems that you are using. You will fill out the form, which looks something like this. This is a the form designer. So you'll fill out some, uh, some service license agreement information and the vendor information, etc., etc. And once you've registered the system, it will go to the in use step and then you can of course cycle it out of use. The other workflow is called satisfaction survey and the idea is that for every system that's registered inside this application every month you will have to fill out well the person responsible for uh, for overseeing the given system will have to fill out the satisfaction survey and this is of course started automatically we have this global action where we have a cyclical action um, defined. The idea is that a cycle works like a trigger. So when you have the the you, you can define a cycle. In this case, it it takes place every month, and under this cycle, you can define various actions. And of course, you can have various cycles that um, that that have a different timeout. So for example, one week, one day, one hour, even this one is one month, and it cr triggers this one action, which launches this workflow. It is also possible to launch this this uh, cycle manually. So for example, in the cycle configuration, you can begin the cycle and launch it from Designer Studio. If you're the administrator, you can do that because why not? But we also implemented a function for launching it from the form. So in the system registration in the first workflow, we also have global actions. And here we have this menu button where you can click on it to launch the survey right away. We also have this global um, this global action on the system registration called set minus 12 month, but I will talk about that a little bit later. All right, so now let's register a system and start a survey. So this is the landing page for the IT systems registry application, the page on portal. Let's hit new system registration. And with the power of editing magic, I will fill out this giant form of screen. All right, so I filled out the form and registered the system. So now it's in the in use step and I can find it in one of the reports on portal, all registered systems. I only have this one currently in use and this will take me back to the form. And if I hit edit, so enter the edit mode of the form, I should be able to manually launch a new survey. So let's go with that. And in the satisfaction surveys report, I see that currently there is a survey in progress. So I will fill this out now. And once you filled out the survey, if you go back to the all registered systems and go to the system card uh, filter and go back to the system, you will notice that the what you filled out will now appear in these reports in the right hand section of your form. The idea is that these only go back to a year, they are limited by the form field that we saw a little bit earlier, this technical form field called tech minus 12 months, it will it is essentially used to from the current date, it, it goes back 12 months. And then this is used in a filter over here in the reports. These are the reports on the right hand side of the form. So we have this satisfaction um, the system error reporting, and it basically limits this filter limits all the um, all the bugs that all the reports are shown only to be from the most recent from the last year. It doesn't go earlier than that. Of course, if you want to get rid of this and show all the the report going back to well, whenever you started using the system, then you can get rid of this form field, of course, and you can also get rid of all these filters, uh, not this one, this one that uses um, this form field, this technical form field, you can find if you go to the tech form field. And if you go to usages, you'll be able to see 
where it is used so you can get rid of it from there and then you will see all the reporting from from a year past and of course you can modify this to be for example two years to be six months you can change this to whatever you like but for us even though it i cannot show it on this report because i only have one filled out survey from this month but if i had for example from three years three years worth of surveys it will only show the last year that's it for this video. Even if you don't plan on using this application, I still recommend you get it just to take a look inside. The IT Systems Registry application uses simple but automated workflows, like it uses a cyclical action to launch one of the workflows every month, and it uses the colorful chart type form fields to report information to the user directly on the form. So if you'd like something like this to implement on your one of your projects, be sure to get this application, dig into it, change things around, add stuff, remove stuff, and hopefully you will learn something new. Thanks for watching and goodbye.